Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, don't mind me, it's at night. It's a uh, Friday night, so you're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're here because you have a toothache, then you're at the right place. So uh, I had done a video, a previous video about a tooth extraction. Yeah, so today I'm talking about its update and also another tooth extraction so today is on a friday i made that video on a wednesday so you can imagine so as i said i did the a tooth extraction of this side and i did it on a monday and i did i did shoot a video on a wednesday just updating you guys on how um it's been and then i no, I, I sh did shoot a video on a Tuesday and then on a Wednesday morning, I woke up at 5, 5 a.m. and I was in so much pain. Yeah, I was in so much pain, so I took painkillers, the pain wasn't going down and it was the other side. In that video, I had said that um, something to do with me having another tooth that needed to be extracted. And so that tooth became infected. And mind you, I was taking um, antibiotics because of this side. So because this side was overworked on on Monday after extraction, on Tuesday, and on tu the whole of Tuesday, it got infected. So on Wednesday, I, got, uh, I, I, I went to the doctor and I told her about my tooth situation and it had to be removed. And so I had to adhere. Because also I was in so much pain. Like that, ex you know, that extra, extra pain, yeah. To such an extent, I used to feel like that kind of pain, like sound in my right ear. So, um, let me tell you about getting a tooth extraction when you have an infection it is bad yes uh, the doctor uses anesthesia and all that even more but you still feel the pain i don't know what happens but you still do feel the pain and it was so bad to open that i told her it wasn't that bad but it was painful obviously so i told her okay give me give me like two minutes to breathe and she was like no give me just one minute and i'll be done and i was like okay fine one minute and she did remove it um i was so conflicted in terms of i'm happy that it's removed i'm happy that um that chapter is closed but i'm also in pain <laughs> so it was all that but anyway so it got removed so i had to be i had to take um other, another type of antibiotic it's called uh huh Okay, I can't remember. But anyway, fra fragile. Yeah, it's fragile and I'm taking Panadol for pain. So today's on a Friday. I got the second tooth extraction on a Wednesday. So yeah, well, yesterday I was in so much pain. I was tired, had headaches, I, had, I was lightheaded, I had body aches, I had all that. So today's Friday and... I'm feeling so much better. I even did house chores, so that's a win. Um, in terms of eating, it's been oh, it's been hassle. So what's keeping me moving is the fact that I'm eating. I'm taking mostly teas and uh, soft foods like um, ugali. If you're an African, you know ugali. I'm taking soups. I'm taking smoothies. I'm taking yogurt, but mostly teas is my main thing. Like cocoa. Um, it makes me forget that I'm hungry because I don't want to uh, keep on, you know, stuffing my mouth and uh, this thing is not healed because you have to take care of the, um, the whatever, the scab that formed. Obviously, it's usually red at first, then it becomes brownish, then it becomes whitish. So right now it's white. So this side is my latest, like, um, extraction. Um, it's still a little bit painful over here and it's still swollen over here and on the inside part of it Still on this part. It's still swollen meaning it had a bad infection 
but uh other than that i am good you can eat uh eggs if you want to you can eat eggs you can eat ugali you should not eat rice because it can get stuck um I'm, I'm 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 sushing my mouth with um salt water warm salt water don't take anything hot just lukewarm cold things are good even ice cream is good uh don't use straws don't smoke yeah you should avoid all that so this is an update of how i'm doing um so this is five days post extraction and three days gonna call it three maybe yeah three days post extraction so yeah if you are if you have a problem with your teeth you should go and get them checked out mm, you know it's a small thing but it can cause a lot of harm to you like when i read about um tooth infections what they can do to you it can the a tooth infection can either go up to your brain and infect your brain or it can come down infect your heart or down infect your organs and cause an organ failure and when it infects your heart your brain then there's nothing left it is what it is you know so me actually getting my teeth checked out you know was like a start a starting point for me to take care of myself i've always put things first other people first and now i have decided to be taking care of me and doing what i like to do because mostly i look up around those people who are around me and what they want and i do it so after my teeth heal my, yeah after they heal i'm gonna try and whiten my teeth at home we're gonna try those things as you can see i was raised but i was born and raised in rice so there's a lot of salt water with a lot of fluoride so it changes the color of your teeth but anyways that doesn't bother me at all i am who i am um apart from that yeah life is good life is good now that one of those uh big uh mountains that were making my life unbearable two of those mountains that were making my life unbearable are over and done with i am now okay so yeah so this is an update so don't forget to subscribe i'll be doing um a lot of videos now that i'm okay and uh yeah like and comment share if you have someone who has a problem with um who have problem with their teeth maybe this would help in some way you never know also if you have uh, just gotten your tooth extracted put an ice pack it will help for me it didn't <sighs> i just didn't i was just tired i don't know i just slept anyways do you you know At the end of the day it's all about you what makes you comfortable and for me painkillers one cup of tea did it for me so yeah bye now